two days ago was Amazon Prime Day. And needless to say, I ordered a bunch of stuff um, because A, I needed it, and B, some of it was on sale, not all of it, but it all came today. So I wanted to unbox it with you guys. So let me go grab those, and we're gonna open my packages. I got one of these just outlet extender type things. It has USBs, it has a USB-C, and then just a bunch of normal outlets on the sides and on the front and stuff. So that will basically just extend an outlet to be a little bit more useful because power is gonna be a big thing in my RV. And then, I think these might be my sheets. I ordered new sheets and a new comforter set for my RV. Um, bed since I didn't have a queen before. So these are sheets. I think I ordered coral. The color is coral. I don't remember and I don't want to open this right away yet. This is the comforter that I bought. It's like leaf kind of design and then hibiscus flowers all around them. I thought that was really cute and the reviews were really good. Oh, a box inside of a box. Very nice. You're kidding. It's inside another box. Hello. Oh, I got a cordless vacuum. It's from the brand Kenmore, which my mom said is a good brand. I don't want to spend a billion dollars on a shark, so this is the cheaper alternative because it's just so much easier to have a cordless vacuum in the RV. So that was a good majority of my order with this right here. So that is everything that I bought besides the stuff I didn't show you. Sorry about that. I hate to tease, but you guys will see it pretty soon. But yeah, everything I bought was for my RV, so very useful stuff, and it's, it's, all, it's all coming together. But I just kinda was excited to unbox this stuff with you guys for Prime Day, so. You guys, it's an ex, oh Jesus, oh my God. Take two. You guys, it is an exciting time because the doors are ready to go back on their hinges. I spray painted these hinges to match my hardware, um, which I also spray painted gold. They were silver and now they're gold. And I put the hardware on already, just to see how I liked it. And I think it looks pretty good. So without further ado, I'm about to put the doors back on the cupboards. Exciting. It is time to put the finishing touches on the bedroom. Mom is here to help me because we are putting contact paper down here where I didn't paint. So we, the contact paper came today. We're gonna put this on the bottom here. Sorry, I just hit your arm. And then we're gonna bring the mattress in and do finishing touches. So um, I'll show you the contact paper that I got. Okay, here's the contact paper that I got. It's like wood. Distressed. Distressed wood. Uh, but it's supposed to look like shiplap, which is really nice. So, I am gonna open this and we're gonna put this all around the bottom of the bed. Sheets on it. Are you ready for this transformation? I don't think you guys are ready. I'm not even ready. Would you look <laughs> at this? Bed looks so nice. I'm in love. This is so soft. And then we got pink sheets. 
like light pink sheets kind of like to match this light pink here I'm in love I don't have pillows yet so just ignore that but it is coming together you guys look how pretty so tropical <laughs> so cozy in here you guys I love it so the next thing on the agenda is to start building my home theater as you saw in the title most likely I'm building a home theater for my bedroom. I have a projector and I want to mount that on a shelf up that's up above my head and then put like a projector screen where it's like on the end of the bed and I'm very excited because as I've mentioned before movies are really important to me and I didn't have space for a big TV and this was like the best, the second best option. The first thing I'm gonna be tackling is building the shelf for my projector to sit on. So let's get started. So I have my saw, um, everything's all measured out here already so I just have to do the cutting. I have a few updates for you so today I didn't do too much on the RV but what I did do was I mounted my projector shelf up there so what we did with this shelf was to put it up we put bolts into this side of the shelf and then we drilled a hole and then ran them all up into this side and just kept them there with a nut and washer so we drilled holes into the shelf to bring them up and then also in order to run the cords from down here over to the outlet without making them too visible was we drilled a hole here to run the cords through and put a little grommet in it and then we drilled a bigger one over on this side as well to run a power strip down. That hides a lot of the cord mess that I have up here with a power strip and it just makes it look really nice and neat. I put this sticky cord strip in the corner but I think the power cord is too thick and strong so it's not sticking there. It's just kind of out right now like it's supposed to be stuck over here but it is what it is. So that's how I ran cords from this outlet up and now it looks really clean. And this is the screen that I bought to go up. Like, I was just, just gonna like hang it up here and my projector would go on it. But we put it up there and we realized it was too short. So we had to go to Menards for some other things anyway. And we were kind of looking around for different solutions. I was thinking to just like make myself my own screen from some fabric. But then what we found and we ended up getting was a vinyl roller shade. It is a really long one basically Menards like will cut it for you so good thing we measured before we left here but we measured and we told Menards the measurement we needed and we literally he just cut it to size and we bought mounting brackets so that I can just put it up here and then when I want it I'll just pull it down and then when I don't need it anymore I'll just pull it like back up like this and I think that's a really really good option so I got the mounting brackets as well and I kind of want to get that done tonight so I can feel like the bedroom's coming together. I only have a few more things, but it's taken me a little while to finish up the bedroom here. You guys, my home theater is completely finished. I can't wait for you guys to see how this is. It's so nice.
things today. I have my blackout fabric all set out and measured. We have a line drawn. So I'm gonna put this cutting mat underneath it and then I'm gonna use the rotary cutter to just cut it and then we'll do some sewing. So I have this fabric and I also have some fabric to go on top. I'm gonna have like two sets of curtains. Ring, ring, cat removal services required. Get out of here. I'm starting off by taking my mom's rotary cutter and her cutting mat and I'm cutting all my fabric down to size. This was the blackout curtains that I started with. Luckily, this fabric that I chose for my blackout curtains didn't fray at all, so I didn't have to do a double edge on my seams, but I had to still fold it over and sew them all, so that's what you're seeing me do here. And then on top of that, I sewed a pocket for the rod to go through. Once I was done with the blackout curtains, I started working on the sheer curtains that are going on top of them. I chose some sort of nursery fabric that was pretty much like gauze, so it was kind of difficult to work with. I did have to do double rolled seams on this one because the fabric was so touchy, but overall it worked the same and came out really nice. What do we do? Because my paint color, I'm not super happy with it. Tackling the shower. Ooh. 